Chevrolet Lumina, a car your family can trust, day after day, year after year. For the main story this month, we'll visit our very special neighbor as he highlights Lumina versus its costly competitor, Ford Taurus GL, in Mr. Siegel's Neighborhood. Lumina LTZ. It's the new for 1997 fun to drive sports sedan. We'll take an up close look at its unique features in LTZ, the Chevrolet of sports sedans. And to help you tackle some sales in the showroom, we'll highlight a successful sales tip from one of your peers in Inside Selling Wire. We'll also identify unique aspects of the Lumina customer and take you through the advantages of Smart Buy, another smart solution from GMAC in Finance Mission Possible. Also coming your way are the details on Lumina's special child protection package, which gives family-oriented customers one less thing to worry about in Bang for the Buck. And for the latest in Chevrolet and industry news, stay tuned for Revelations Per Minute. It's all coming up in this edition of Inside Track. Hi, I'm Mike Kraft. Welcome to Inside Track. These days, your customers want their money's worth in a car they can trust. They get it in a Lumina. And here's proof. Since 1995, Lumina has earned Consumer's Digest Best Buy Award. That's three years in a row. And as Consumer's Digest pointed out this year, the 1997 Lumina provides ample six-passenger space at a price that's tough to beat. We'll see just how tough during this month's comparison. The well-planned interior has the family room your customers will need. With the Lumina sedan and LS models, the 60-40 split bench front seat provides comfortable seating for six. But Lumina offers many other standard and optional features that add to its outstanding value. For instance, dual airbags, air conditioning, passkey 2 theft deterrent system, and anti-lock brakes. In fact, no passenger car in its class can offer as many standard safety features for the price. Let's take a closer look at some of these features. Anti-lock brakes. The GM-developed four-wheel anti-lock brake system is standard on Lumina LS and LTZ and optional on Lumina sedan. ABS minimizes wheel lockup while braking and is designed to help maintain steering control and prevent skidding on most slippery surfaces. Another notable feature is Lumina's available AM-FM stereo with cassette player which is optional on Lumina Sedan and standard on Lumina LS and LTZ. It offers some creature comforts that many of your customers will find quite valuable. Like speed compensated volume, which automatically adjusts the volume to make up for road and wind noise while driving. Here's how it works. Once the customer sets the volume at the desired level, simply adjust the control ring located behind the upper knob by turning it clockwise to set the speed compensated volume. Then, while driving, the volume will automatically increase as necessary to overcome interior noise. In effect, the volume level will always sound the same while driving. If the customer doesn't want to use speed compensated volume, the control ring should be all the way down, as each notch on the control ring allows more volume at faster speeds. Another nice feature on this stereo is the automatic tone control. It allows the driver to choose preset bass and treble settings designed for classical, news, rock, pop, country western, and jazz stations. CW will appear on the display when you first press Auto Tone. Each time you press it, another setting will appear on the display. Press it again after Jazz appears, and the Auto Tone display will go blank. Tone control will return to the bass and treble knobs. The auto tone setting will also switch to manual if the bass or treble knobs are adjusted. To manually adjust either the bass or treble, lightly press the appropriate knob so that it slightly extends. Turn the knob clockwise to increase the tone and counterclockwise to decrease the tone. Make sure the knobs are in their stored positions when not in use. And when selecting a favorite station for one of the push buttons, be sure the desired auto tone equalization is selected before setting the station. This way, the auto tone is selected for each preset button. Another stereo feature that LS and LTZ owners will appreciate is the optional redundant steering wheel radio controls. These duplicate radio controls feature play, mute, volume, seek, 
AM, FM, and preset buttons. This very convenient feature helps the driver keep their eyes where they should be on the road. And here's a little inside information. At a recent ride and drive, you may know as shown down at the shores, one of the biggest complaints that the participants had was this. The tourists, I didn't feel the interior was comfortable to me. I didn't feel it was user friendly as far as radio controls and air conditioning switches. It looks almost like a spaceship by looking at, at the controls. You know, it, it'd take an act of Congress to figure it out. When I first got in the car, you know, I set the mirrors and I started to drive. You know, it was fine until I wanted to set, change the air conditioning, change the radio, and find things, and it, it was very cluttered. You know, it was very hard to distinguish between the different uh, dials and knobs as to what you were doing without taking your eyes off the road for a long period of time. I'm almost certain that you won't hear a complaint like that from a Lumina owner who has steering wheel radio controls. This optional feature that isn't available on any Taurus model also includes a sporty leather wrap steering wheel. And to suit individual temperature tastes, Lumina LS and LTZ models also feature optional dual climate controls. Dual zone controls allow the driver and front passenger to vary their individual temperature levels. You know, an option like this could probably make just about any husband and wife live happily ever after. Now, if only Chevrolet could devise a feature that teaches how to read a map. Hmm. And if your customers don't like using maps, they may opt for Lumina's power sliding sunroof. This deep tinted roof panel with pop-up feature will let fresh air and sunshine in. And it also comes in handy if you're figuring direction by the position of the sun. Whatever your customer's motivations may be, they can get this new for 1997 option on both Lumina LS and LTZ. A new for 1997 feature available on all Lumina models is the change oil soon light. This light comes on as a bulb check when the engine is started. But if the light stays on for 20 seconds or more after the ignition is turned on, well, it's time to change the oil. And be sure to remind your customers that when to change the oil also depends on driving habits and conditions. Because of this, the change oil soon light may come on as early as 2,000 miles or less for harsh conditions. And you should show your customers the directions on how to reset the system after the oil is changed. The directions are on page 2-59 of the owner's manual. Wrapping up, Lumina's new for 1997 features are two exterior colors, dark jade green metallic and deep purple metallic. Both of these colors are available with medium gray and neutral interiors. Well, Lumina may be a best buy, but how does it stack up to some pretty strong competition? To find out, let's visit our very special neighbor, George Siegel. It's not such a beautiful day in my neighborhood. Oh, hello, television neighbor. Welcome to my neighborhood. Well, just like there are good things and bad things about people, there are good things and bad things about cars. Today, let's look and see how the Chevrolet Lumina compares to its competitor, the Ford Taurus GL. Can you say Taurus GL? We don't want your customers to. For starters, the Taurus GL is very oval looking, while well, the Lumina is quite contemporary. Although looks don't really matter when it comes to people, looks do matter when it comes to cars. Looks are one thing, but I'll never forget what my mother always taught me. It's what's on the inside that counts. So let's take a look under the hood. Lumina offers a standard 3100 V6 engine with sequential fuel injection that produces 160 horsepower. To see how much that really is, let's build a word picture. Let's say that a farmer keeps about five horses in a barn. Lumina's engine has enough horses to fill 32 barns. That's a lot of barns and an awful lot of horses. Let's see what Taurus GL keeps in its stable. Come along. Under Taurus's hood, we find a 3-liter single overhead cam V6 engine that produces 145 horsepower. That's only enough horses to fill 29 barns. That may be quite a few barns, but let's figure out how much each of those horses cost. Start with Taurus GL's base MSRP of $19,535. When you divide Taurus's 145 horsepower by the price, you get $134.72 per horsepower. But if you do the same exercise with Lumina, you'll find it's 160 horses 
costs only $109.34 each. That's a difference of $25.38 per horsepower. This could be one key reason why Lumina has remained a Consumer's Digest best buy since 1995. When it comes to power, Lumina puts Taurus out to pasture. Now let's talk about safety. Automatic daytime running lamps are a new safety feature for 1997. These reduced intensity headlamps come on automatically so that other drivers notice Lumina during daylight hours, helping reduce the risk of accidents. This feature also includes automatic exterior lamp control, which adjusts headlamps and other exterior lamps to regular intensity at night and in other low light conditions. This safety feature is standard on all 1997 Lumina models. Automatic daytime running lamps are available on Taurus GL2, but as a limited production option. This means they aren't available to the average consumer unless you move to Canada. That might be pretty inconvenient. In the United States, you can only order daytime running lamps if you're a fleet customer. Even then, the fleet customer has to pay $40 per vehicle for this optional safety feature. I don't know if Ford understands how important it is that everyone is safe. After all, safety ought to be the least of our worries, shouldn't it? I believe your customers will think so. A safety feature that you won't find on any Taurus sedan at any price is an integral child safety seat. A family with a little one would have one less thing to worry about with one of these, and it's available on all Lumina models. For the details on this special safety feature, we'll visit our very special neighbor, Sonia Crosby, a little later on. But now, Let's round up some of Lumina's other advantages over Taurus GL. Come along. Well, it's pretty cold outside today, so I thought I'd sit inside and warm up my tummy with some hot apple cider. I like to add a cinnamon stick to mine for a nice spicy flavor. But no matter what your favorite hot beverage is, feel free to drink it inside a Lumina, even without a no-spill cup. With Illumina, you can be less worried about dripping or spilling on the seat fabric, door trim, floor carpeting, or floor mats. That's because they're all treated with Scotchgard Protector, which helps with cleanups and helps keep Lumina's interior looking newer longer. A feature like this isn't available on Ford Taurus. Like the way I flipped over here so quickly? I did. If your neighborhood is like mine, having a car with a tight turning circle is really important especially if you have to make a U-turn on a cul-de-sac or get a parking spot downtown. It seems that a parking spot always opens up on the opposite side of the street that I'm traveling on. That's why I'm very grateful to the Chevrolet engineers who helped design Lumina with a 36.7 foot curb to curb turning circle. It certainly is easy getting around downtown. However, the Taurus GL requires a bit more maneuvering when you're trying to get that parking spot on the opposite side of the street. Its curb to curb turning circle is 38 feet. Believe me, the one and a half foot difference is a big advantage. And Lumina has an advantage in security too. All Lumina models feature a standard pass key to theft deterrent system. This means only your specially coded key starts your Lumina. Isn't that amazing? For a passive anti-theft system on Taurus, Ford makes you pay more money. It's only available on the more expensive LX model or the most expensive top-of-the-line SHO. Paying more money? That's not fun. And again, you have to get the more expensive Taurus LX or SHO if you want standard power door locks. But if you're willing to buy them as part of an option package, Ford will let you get them on the GL too. That is, if you can save enough of your allowance to pay for it, the option package costs $460. With the Lumina, you don't have to get the top-of-the-line trim package for a feature like this. Powered door locks are standard on all Lumina models. Well, so far, I've learned that Lumina offers the value and luxury appointments that most customers want without the luxury price. And that reminds me. I've saved Lumina's best competitive advantage for last, price. 
The base model Lumina sedan comes very well equipped with all the features I've discussed with you today except ABS. That's optional. The base MSRP, including destination of the Lumina, is $17,495. A small price to pay for a lot less to worry about. Our Ford neighbors aren't as nice. The Taurus GL, which isn't equipped with the features we talked about, has a base MSRP, including destination, of $19,535. That's a $2,040 price advantage. That's amazing. Just think, what would your customers say if you told them the price difference? You think it may influence their decision? It would influence mine. And I think Ford thought it was influencing some customers. That's why they began offering the cheaper Taurus G model. And this cheaper model is also quite limited. Customers have only five options and four exterior colors to choose from and zero choices when it comes to the color of the interior. The G seat upholstery comes only in medium graphite. You can't even get a body color roof on the G. It's black no matter what color the vehicle is. With a base MSRP of $18,545, Lumina still has a $1,050 price advantage over the cheaper Taurus G model. And as the list of choices proves, cheap doesn't mean value. If your customers are looking for value, they're looking for a Chevrolet Lumina. So be sure to welcome your customers to the Chevrolet neighborhood. Lumina will welcome them too. Thank you for visiting with me. Be sure to come see me again soon. Back to you, neighbor Mike. Thanks, George. I mean, Mr. Siegel, for your enlightening comparison. It gave me a warm, fuzzy feeling. Well, we know Lumina owners have a lot less to worry about, and Chevrolet built upon that idea when creating the new LTZ. You'll notice they put some pizzazz in its appearance, the kind your customers would appreciate in a sports sedan. So, it's time to get revved up, as we're about to get an up-close look at the hottest thing that's ever happened to the Lumina lineup, the LTZ. Its credentials are impressive. To get a peek, let's take another trip to Mr. Siegel's neighborhood. Oh, Mr. Siegel, can you come out and play? Sure, Mikey. As long as we can play with the new Lumina LTZ. You know, I never thought anything could change me from my prim and proper ways, but this LTZ has made me want to get a little racy. Hope my friends in the land of make-believe don't see me like this. This LTZ can certainly help some of us go through parenthood incognito. How, you ask? Well, for starters, it's power. This LTZ is equipped with the optional 3.4 liter dual overhead cam V6 engine, which delivers an impressive 215 horsepower. Giddy up. This engine also features sequential fuel injection, dual overhead camshafts, and four valves per cylinder. This much power would probably even make the trolley to the land of make-believe jealous. The 3.4 liter engine option also gives you four-wheel disc brakes, a ride and handling suspension, and performance tires. These 16-inch Goodyear RSA Touring tires provide all-weather traction and aggressive grip on dry roads, and they're attached to great-looking alloy wheels. And adding to the sporty look, LTZ features specific front and rear fascias, special tail lamps, and a rear spoiler. And for a stylish touch, you'll find LTZ insignias on the trunk, instrument panel, and rear seat back. Body color remote power mirrors are standard. Completing LTZ's setting for performance are the optional front bucket seats, available in custom cloth or leather seating accents. Luminous front bucket seats are available only on the new LTZ. And you get this Chevrolet sports sedan for a base MSRP of only $19,995. For me, as you can see, the LTZ has really opened me up to some spice in my life. It may do the same for some of your customers. So if you'll pardon me, I'm going to take advantage of this fun to drive sporty sedan and do some cruising. See you later, neighbor. And now let's see what sales tip we have from one of your peers on the inside selling wire. When a customer focuses on price, be sure to emphasize the vehicle's benefits and value. In the customer's mind, when value goes up, price goes down. 
And based on what we learned today, focusing on value shouldn't be too difficult if the vehicle is Lumina. For this month's tip, our special thanks goes out to Randy Sable from Midway Chevrolet in Amarillo, Texas. We really appreciate your effort. And for that effort, Randy will receive a special gift from Chevrolet and the Inside Track team. An exclusive Inside Track t-shirt with the Inside Track logo embroidered on the front. And if you have a great sales tip, fax it to Renee Malis at area code 810-575-9928. You too will receive a special Inside Track t-shirt if we use your tip on the Inside Selling Wire. Finance, a mission possible. If you keep yourself familiar with key demographics for each vehicle and GMAC financing, believe me, this information can help you match each customer with the best finance option. And to help you get more familiar with finance options, this month we'll explore another facet of GMAC financing, Smart Buy. For starters, let's examine the unique aspects of the Lumina customer. To help us out with that is Sonia. Thanks, Mike. This month I have the inside information to help you identify unique aspects of Lumina customers, and here it is. Primary Lumina customers belong to hardworking American families, and their average age is from mid-40s to the mid-50s. They have a median household income of $48,000, and about 33% of these Lumina buyers are college graduates. Also, it's important to note that Lumina's principal driver is a female 54% of the time. Lumina also has a secondary group of customers. There are retired American families with an average age over 65. Value is a strong purchase consideration among this group, as their median household income is $35,000. But how do you help your customers own the Lumina they want and come out ahead? Well, one way is with a GMAC Smart Buy, another smart solution from GMAC. I'm here with Larry Rainey. He manages the areas of incentive, leasing, and retail recognition for Chevrolet. He's agreed to come and share some of his expertise with us on GMAC Smart Buy. Hi, Larry. Thanks a lot nice. for coming out and Thank spending you. some time Thanks with for us. Having me. Yeah. Why don't you tell us exactly what Smart Buy is? Well, Smart Buy is really just another finance option, mm -hmm. and it can be used to, in order to lower a customer's payments as far as their contract is concerned. And generally, it's set up so that the uh, used vehicle value is not computed in the payments. And then at the end of the contract, there is a balloon note finance payment due. So it can be written for 24, 36, or 48 months, whatever the customer's needs require. Mm -hmm. So it's much like leasing, with the exception that the customer actually owns the vehicle. I understand Smart Buy offers a variety of advantages. Would you tell us about those advantages? I think the real advantage is the fact that the customer is able to get into a vehicle for a lower monthly payment, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But in addition, many customers are able to acquire more vehicle for the money that they actually have to spend. And I mentioned before that they can get into contracts that are of a little bit shorter nature than they might otherwise uh, be able to get into for the amount of money they have to spend. Mm -hmm. Many customers are forced into 60-month or in some cases 72-month contracts. Smart Buy gives them the opportunity in a short-term contract to actually turn the vehicle over more times to acquire new vehicles more often. So again, it offers a lot of the same advantages as leasing with the one big exception, and that's the fact that their name is on the title. They feel like they actually own the car. Are there any ways that you can lower the Smart Buy monthly payments even more? What we really recommend in the case of customers that are looking to match a payment to a specific budget is to see if the customer is willing to put more down payment on the vehicle. And that's the way a dealership can manage the customer's payment uh, from the standpoint of their budget. When does the owner select the end of term option? The owner can actually select the end of term option any time prior to the maturity date of the contract itself. How does Smart Buy affect the new vehicle warranty? Smart Buy itself doesn't really affect the warranty. However, you can leverage Smart Buy as a product in order to put a customer, as I had mentioned before, in a shorter term contract. That gives the customer the advantage and the comfort level of perhaps having the vehicle under warranty for the whole period that they drive the car. So there's a tremendous advantage in getting the shorter term contract and matching it against the warranty period. Great. Um, are there any limitations on mileage or any concerns with excess wear and tear? The mileage limitation is a little bit of a misnomer. Mm -hmm. 
The standard configuration of a smart buy contract is 15,000 miles per year. But if a customer drives 20 or 25,000, uh, the dealership has the opportunity to customize the contract to meet the customer's needs. As far as wear and tear are concerned, we would hope that the dealership would explain the wear and tear provision to the customer during the uh, uh, process of signing the contract. Just in case that doesn't happen, then uh, GMAC does send a brochure to the customer two months before the termination of the contract to explain all the wear and tear provisions. So that they'll be comfortable uh, prior to turning in the vehicle. Oh, that's nice. Uh, and finally, um, can the owner trade in the vehicle before the contract is actually up? Sure. The owner can uh, trade in the vehicle prior to the end of the contract. And what we clearly recommend that the owner contact the dealership and let the dealership give advice to the customer on how that transaction could work. But we're very interested in capturing the customer before they get to the end of the contract, and I think the dealerships are also. And that way, the dealership has an opportunity to put the customer in a new car or truck prior to the end of their current contract. That's great. Well, Larry, thank you so much for coming by and sharing your expertise with us on that uh, Smart Buy so Plan. Much. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. And this information is truly going to make finance a mission possible. Back to you, Mike. That's great information, Sonia. Do you happen to know about any special lease offers currently available on Lumina? I sure do, but if you want to get in on it, you better hurry. It expires January 31st. But until then, customers can get, for example, Lumina Sedan with Preferred Equipment Group 1SB, plus rear window defogger and cassette player for the special GMAC lease rate of 9.4%. And with $1,650 down, you can have a customer driving off in a new Lumina with a monthly lease payment of only $269 for 36 months. Although this lease offer ends January 31st, be on the lookout for details on a new lease offer starting February 1st. Thanks, Sonia. Now how about showing us how Lumina offers the safety and security customers want for their families in Bang for the Buck. That's no problem, Mike. Safety, one of the best reasons to drive a Lumina. After all, nothing is more important than safety, especially the safety of our children and Lumina offers an innovative child safety package that's hard to match. To get the full story behind this protection package, I was able to meet with the Lumina Assistant Brand Marketing Manager, Michelle Lang. Hi, Michelle. Thanks a lot for joining us Thank today. You. Listen, uh, would you tell me exactly what does the Lumina's child protection package include? I'd love to, but I'd like to introduce you into the rear seat, of course, which is where all children under the age of 12 should be, which is in the back seat. Okay. We have a number of features to keep the children safe and secure, starting with keeping them in the car, for starters. And we have the rear child door lock mechanism, mm -hmm. by which you can activate by using a key or anything that just has a little bit of a point, mm -hmm. and activate that mechanism, and make sure the child does not open the car while it's either in motion or stopped, okay. unless you want them to. Mm -hmm. Now we have a number of features to also keep them safe and secure inside the seats or in their child seat. We offer an optional integral child seat in the center position on all Luminous. And then we also offer a great feature called dual mode retractors. And what you do is you take your regular child seat that you have and put it in place. And what it does is it keeps the child seat from pivoting forward in the case of either an accident or a sudden stop, candidly. And the way you activate it is you take all, any rear outboard seat, um, seat belt, except for, of course, the front passenger driver one, mm -hmm. and you pull it out all the way. So you get to the end, mm -hmm. and then as you can hear the ratcheting, yeah. what that does is once you've secured the safety belt, it makes sure that it's not going to budge in case of an accident or a sudden stop. Okay. And that really helps parents um, so they don't have to use the safety clips or some other mechanism to do that. Mm -hmm. Keep the seat belt in place. Oh, okay. Now let's say you have older children who don't use child seats. What a lot of parents I've heard complain about is the kids in the back saying, I don't want to wear my seatbelt, it's yeah. cutting across my neck, or yeah. even shorter people find that. We also have a child comfort guide, mm -hmm. which is this black item on both this side as well as the other side of the rear seat. Okay. And what that does is that permits you that once you secure the seatbelt, you can lower this so that the belt comes across the lower side of the child's body, and then the kids are happy. And when the kids are happy, I think so are the parents. And then you have a safe, secure environment to drive the children in the car with. Sure. Now, are all of these features standard on Lumina? Um, most of these features are. The, the child integral seat is an option, but it's available on all Luminas. 
How does Lumina's child protection package compare to its competitors? Oh, it's great. Actually, the Lumina has more standard safety features than any six-passenger car in its class for the price, which is fantastic. Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Are there any other details we left out? No, I just think that really the Lumina is a sound value for families because from the front to the rear, we really offer a wealth of safety and security features, whether you have children or the adults of the family in the vehicle. Oh, it's a great deal. That's great. Well, Michelle, thanks so much for your Thank time. You. I really appreciate your being here. Well, you heard it here. When it comes to children and safety, Lumina definitely offers more bang for the buck. Now it's time to see what's hot around town in Revelations Per Minute. Yes, it's that time of year again when automotive manufacturers from around the world get together to show their wares at the International Auto Show. Shows are currently taking place across the United States. And on opening day, the Los Angeles and Detroit shows were buzzing like bees about one vehicle in particular. And it's a Chevrolet. On January 6th, people across the country anxiously awaited the unveiling of the fifth generation Corvette. Inside Track was at the Detroit Auto Show, working of course. And we captured the unveiling. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is our pleasure to present to you the return here in Detroit, Michigan of your 1997 Chevrolet Corvette. Over there! Also in the 1997 Auto Show Spotlight was Chevrolet's newcomer, the Malibu, which was recently named Motor Trend's 1997 Car of the Year. Well, it looks like Chevrolet has a lot of sales to look forward to for the 97 model year, and I look forward to bringing you the upcoming editions of Inside Track. Until then, let's all concentrate on getting to know these new vehicles inside and out. And before I get out of here, let me remind you to send us your sales tips, program improvement suggestions, and gift ideas. Again, you can fax them to Renee Malis at area code 810-575-9928. For Sonia, George, Mr. Siegel, and myself, we'll see you next time on Inside Track when Cavalier Coupe and Sedan go head-to-head -head against the competition. We'll see you then. <laughs>